We got beasts, Ellie's Murloc Pirates. Oh, oh. Alright, chat. Alley cats. Lots of them. There we go. Good start. Oh. Hi, Roland chat. Life's good. Yeah. Because then I'm three out of five, and the chance to hit is so high. Whereas if I freeze, I'm a bit stronger, but I have to get an extra battle cry. Because if I hit a two battle cry shop now, I can't cycle, that's true, but I can, uh, I get my brand no matter what, right? And if I don't get a double battle cry shop, I have extra gold to roll. Which is better, right? Yeah. I would just freeze a good battle cry. I'll probably settle for that. I'd love to hit another Swabby. But there's just not enough units in the pool to make me... Like, if I didn't have two cats, I think I might not settle here. But I just want to make sure I get the brand. Because it's a free reroll, so it kind of makes up for the freeze anyway. We'll see what the quest does, right? Maybe it's fine to take a 3-drop or so. But I do love taking a 4. Do need a Murloc on my board. Primal Finn. Alright. Battlecry quest. Dragon Beast by 9. Eek. Nothing great here. So no mech lobby. So we are probably playing Murlocs in the end. Probably just go for the Mayhem. It's gonna take long, both of them. So I'll go for the one that I want for the end game. I'll roll now to see if I hit more cats. Sweet. Can triple sell for Swabby. I think I just try to hit another cat. So this turn we're not strong, but next turn I get to level level slam swabby cats or i buy something there muffin holy shit go meow 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 level for sure and it's either swabby level or just level cats but i have to sell anyway Swabby puts this to five. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotta go. Mayhem. I think I'll just go Domo. Oh, a bit early for Toxfin.
All right, so we got the dragon tag here. Going to free is going to four is free now, and we should be strong enough to reduce damage for the next few turns. Wow. Jesus, we almost managed to take damage here. I felt like I might have overdone it, but looks like that was just about right. Smogger is a really big one. So it's uh, dragons and pirates, right? Beasts. Dragons and beasts. Okay. I don't think I'm going to look at Cadgar. There used to be a time where this was the snap pickup, but it's not good enough. Twilight Emissary is fine. Having to play Smogger on an anomaly kind of sucks. But we're going to be really strong, and our setup is good for um, switching it into Murlocs. Keeping the Atromedes for a long time, I guess, because of Mayhem. We'd be looking at... Um, We'd be looking at finding amalgams mainly. Amalgams are so good here. Yeah, they were winning as well. I mean, we're going to be too strong, but if I hold this and take damage, it's so annoying. Like, the damage I get here, it's a 9-12 instead of a 1-4. It's just ridiculous. Smogger is probably a uh, up 3 battle cries you can find early on as brand. So obscenely good. You're also gaining a uh, plus one plus one from the Domo proc. Oh yeah, it's probably one of the best cards you can find at this stage of the game. Alright, so could have held it, but it's okay. I'll probably buy the Hydra. Completes my quest if I get uh, one more dragon, right? Wait, I thought it was six out of seven with this. Hmm, interesting. All right, I don't have the roll yet. Chug is great. Probably play Tarragosa in the end of this turn. I would have liked a different elemental to buff, but this is how it is. Oh, I counted Atromedes. It says play, right? Yeah. It says play, so it does count. I just missed something. Alright, so we have Menagerie Mayhem online. We have a Hydra and Atromedes and a huge anomaly. Could go to five now, high roll a golden brand or something. We'll see how good the shops are. Yeah, I, obviously I made some kind of error because I thought I was one up, but it worked out. It's about to go, so. I, Amalgam is a really good unit here. Yeah. Brand on tier four is more than fine. Let's get Jugs, let's get uh, Primal Fin. Let's get Reef Explorer. Five as Muro. Tavern Tempest. It's tempting. Golden Brand. I want to be strong. I don't want to go up. Oh, okay. That can work. It's an extra type as well. Sell these two if I have to.
This doesn't really matter, right? No. Come on, my roll. Let's play an emissary. Could also play a honcho. It's plus one attack to all these things. Probably better to get a taunt in. Could have gone for this triple, maybe, but then playing it makes it weird. I ended up going with the taunt to protect the cleaves. Probably not a bad argument. Emissary buff amalgam. I think Amalgam's gonna be big enough. Got the Peggy. Yeah, I'm happy uh, playing a tier 4 comp for now. Trying to get the... Um, yeah, there we go. These are the shops. Double buy, roll, triple sell. So Jug and Cell for sure, but it could be End on Toxfin if we don't like the other cards here. So I can Cell, Cell to buy a card. Buying the card will give me 1-1 one, one from the Peggy, and then if it's the strong arm, I'll gain another plus 4-4, four, four, so plus 5-5 five, five for an extra gold. But if I keep the Murloc on the board, I gain plus one attack on all my units, and I don't have to waste the gold. And I'll probably just roll. I love how the brand is getting so much attack as well. Really going all in on the mayhem here. Oh, you first. Well, it's a free cleave, I don't hate it. Kill a big poison unit for free if I hit there. It's totally fine. <sighs> yeah, they went from killing someone to dying. <laughs> That's always rough, right? When you're like, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm not. So stay on tier 4, make more poison, or go up now? Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of poison. Well, I run Leroy, I guess I would, right? Yeah. I would run Leroy. Skip that. Yeah. Atromedes first is going to make more sense soon. Savage. Right, at least our cleave does a lot of work. Alright, we got there. Close one, though. Yeah, this is going to be Terragosa, I think, with Staff. Probably put this back in. Hey, 
Taunting Bran is okay-ish. Probably gonna keep him for a while. More important, right? <laughs> Leroy for this turn. Might not be able to pivot yet. Pretty certain I'm gonna lose this one. If this hits Toxfin, it kinda sucks. I th really want to put that in my hand. All right, Amalgam's huge. That's worth pivoting then. I'll make a little bit of health on these just to get around some bullshit. I'm not gonna go for that, no. Alright. So we got our double Amalg. Tads are uh, difficult now. Oh, no Taragosa. Okay. That's huge for us. The brand killing the unit. <laughs> Oh, this Hydra has 12 health, huh? That's a problem. Uh... Wow, I really, really thought I was gonna lose, but I don't mind winning. Contrary to popular belief, I'm okay with winning. So 26 health here, 12 health here. Yeah, shit's pretty small. So the goal right now, let's first talk positioning here. The goal right now would be to find probably selfless more poison, right? Yeah. I don't think we tier. I think it might be a do nothing turn. I could pick up a pair <laughs> really any pair. I don't think tripling into Queen is... I mean, it's good. It is good. Mm. Take the War Leader. Mm, no, the War Leader is just money. I think they're both staying. I'll keep the one that has the higher damage. Menagerie Mayhem really, really making a difference here. Uh, that, that Hydra. Okay. Ew. Ew. Alright, at least we killed the brand. Alright, so 52 health and 90 health. Hydra might not be big enough. Might level now for Nadina. Adina has a really good shout. Adina and Queen. I'm gonna skip the brand though. Fifteen health on this, or make the Leroy's bigger. Am I gonna run Blaster Nadina or not? I think the brand is out. I 
I'll make the Leroy big. I don't actually need to run more poisons right now. Not sure I'm positioning here. Me? I frame behind. Results to guarantee. That's a kill. I was looking at Blaster for the others and it didn't seem necessary. So roll... Three Amalgams and two Toxins in the same shop, something like that. Yeah. Actually one Toxin's fine, I just need three Amalgams. Yeah. Heart can have each hat. I'm kind of done though. Uh, there's some small improvements, but for the most part, we're done. Versus the Illidan, this has to be pulled into question for Queen, I guess. It's mainly Queen. That can give me Queen. It's also board slots. I don't think I want to sell for the poison, but it's a really good time to do it. Could sell the war leader and the selfless for the gambler. I think that's okay. And then we can try to hit queen instead of this hydra if it's not going to be big enough, or we could try to get an uther for this so it doesn't die to blaster. Shields, a Taragosa. A Taragosa is a 4 4 though. What does that do if it's shielded? Oh, an extra health is really nice there. That's the uh yellow then that's the problem. Congratulations to me. Another taunt could maybe do work. Could have taunted the Leroy in the shop. I was thinking about it. Yeah, it's probably slightly better because now I have to taunt this one.
That's annoying. That was a big flip we lost there. Ugh. Poison's doing alright though. Ah, one off. We needed to catch them with the element of surprise there. It was a good attempt at scamming for sure. They're actually so small on some of their units. Queen is still good. They're not going to put their big Divine Shield unit first anymore, that's for sure. They're not going to risk that running into the Leroy. They can maybe even start with their Cleave to Cleave everything here, which would be annoying. Might be time to give up on this one. Yeah, that's a good read. Giving them all my Leroy's for free would suck, so... Really excellent read there. That's not even a terrible hit, because I keep this. What a nice read, yeah. You always have to put yourself in your opponent's shoes and think, what would I do if I see my board? How would I try to punish this? Oh. That was a nice end game. Alright, we got a Menagerie Mayhem win. People ask that all the time, like, have you ever won with Menagerie Mayhem? And like, yeah, it happens. But it's usually when you just use it as a supplement.